Hey, Amber, Joel, exactly right. I am being joined by a champion. The champions are back in town. Mr. Kozel McQueen, one of the biggest personalities, one of the biggest figures on this team. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Oh, glad to be a part of this. Kozel, you guys seem like you have a really tight-knit group after all of these years. How often do you guys stay in contact? And what's that like? Is there a group chat or what's that look like? Well, we do have a group chat. <laughs> and man, if you guys only knew some of the communications we put together. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure there's some things that you can't tell me on camera. Uh, Kozel, I want to go back um, and, and talk, talk about your late great coach. Give me one of your best Jimmy V memories from, from over the years. Hey, one of my best ones that I can think of right now it was when we um, were getting ready to go out to play Houston before we ran out, uh, before the game, pregame. And it was like he went over each to each player and said what they were going to do, what their role was. And it was like, hey, Cole, with my situation, he said, hey, Cole, listen, um, we recruited, we, well, we watched them, and we didn't know too much about the dream. Then we didn't know that much about him. We said, well, look, um, he doesn't shoot that much, and, and so uh, you can shade and help out with everybody else and all this good stuff. And as the game got started, <laughs> the dream got the first shot, and they, it, they gave to what, what we call now the dream shake, gave me that shake. And he shot a jumper, and I said, okay, well, maybe he just lucked this because they said he don't shoot the ball that much in time, <laughs> right? And then he got another, another, and another. And I was like, hey, and we had a timeout. I said, hey, coach, this guy can play. This guy can school. They give him the ball, yeah. right? And I mean, I was pushing this guy off the blocks. Mm -hmm. And this guy was shooting for me almost like a guard, yeah. right? And he just, and then once he got wind up, Man, I was just trying to hold on for dear life. <laughs> it seems like it all worked out. You're a local guy, uh, you told me. Um, I'm not sure how much you've kept up with this NC State team, but you guys won the title after North Carolina won it the year before. How cool was it just being in this area to stick it to your rivals? Man, that was absolutely awesome, saying that they had Perk on the team and they had Jordan on the team. We beat some Hall of Famers. Yeah, absolutely right. And, and you got something to show us here that you just got today. Explain to the crowd what that is. Well, it was telling, uh, Derek was telling us earlier that uh, we got this plaque, um, how it came about uh, the pit where we played at. Uh -huh. uh, they, my understanding, they had the, they taken the floor up yeah. and they had it in storage. Yeah. And so uh, they, I think the uh, York, uh, one of the York uh, um, young guys of the, of the father, yeah. and because uh, York, was, uh, which is in real estate, uh, he was the, my understanding, he was the mayor back then when we won the championship. Mm -hmm. And so they found out about some kind of way that the, the floor was in storage. Yeah. And so, and brought it back and here, brought it back here and is, put it all together. And it's pretty cool. And on it, of course, is the pass and the dunk. That's pretty cool. Kozel McQueen, amongst many legends here, will be here in Raleigh tonight. Thank you so much for your time. Guys, back to you.